Hi, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and this is the first video in a series of videos about Apple Configurator. In this video we're going to look at the prepare section and we're going to look at using the prepare section with supervision mode turned off. First, you can see up here that I've got one device connected to Apple Configurator. So I'm only configuring one device at a time. If I wanted to, I could add multiple devices using a special USB connection system. Let's look at the settings. First thing you can set is the name. You can leave that as the factory default or you can type in a name for your device. If you want to, and you're configuring more than one device at a time, you can tick this box here to have numbers added sequentially after them. You can also change the starting number by deleting the number there and type in the number that you want to start at. So I might want to start at 105, for example. And this will do the current device at 105, and then when I plug the next one in at 106, and so on. Supervision mode, like I said, I'm going to leave it off, so we're going to ignore that bit. Now we can look at updating the iOS. Here you can choose whether you want the iOS to be updated, if there's an update available, never updated, or only when the device is in recovery mode. You can choose if you want the device to be erased or not erased. And if you've created a backup, you can have a backup restored in this section. You can also use this section to create a backup or import a previously created backup. Any created backups you have imported will be listed down here. So I've got one here, but I'm not going to use that one because that's an old one. Installing profiles allows you to add a organizational profile to your iPad. It's worth noting that you can only add an organizational profile if the device has already gone through the iOS setup assistant. Now let's look at adding apps. You can add apps to an iPad automatically through Apple Configurator using the app section in the prepare section. So here I can go to add and that allows me to import an app from the, my music folder under mobile applications. Here you can see I've got several apps downloaded and let's say I wanted to do Dropbox, I'd click on that, press select and then it will ask me for my Apple ID and password. I'm not going to put mine in just now, but when I've done that, I'd press OK, and the app would appear in here. If it was a paid for app as well, it would pop up about licenses down here and ask for my license codes. If you want to remove an app, you can click on it and press the minus button down here. Next, in setup, I can choose how I want my iOS setup assistant to work for newly prepared devices for new members of staff. So I can change my location, say whether I want them to do the location services screen, the restore screen, the Apple ID, terms and conditions, passcode, Siri and diagnostics. That's really handy if you want to speed up the process or if you don't want them to set up certain elements. Finally, you can go into the settings section and you can configure some settings automatically like Wi-Fi. This is really handy as you don't need to give out the Wi-Fi code to people. You can have it already added onto the device and it speeds up the setup assistant again. You can also add more than one Wi-Fi configuration by pressing the plus button just here. 
You can add certificates if you need to add any certificates for access to your network and you can do device enrollment. Device enrollment is quite handy if you use a mobile device management system and you want the device to be automatically enrolled as it goes through the setup assistant. Just put the URL that your mobile device management system gives you into this section here and the device will be automatically configured to your system. When you've done all of that and you're happy to move on, you would then press prepare down here at the bottom. When you press prepare, it will go through to this screen. Okay, so this is the prepare screen and here you can see that the device TID is currently, at the moment, it's telling me that it's going to take about 20 minutes getting the latest version of iOS 7 video to make it a little bit quicker for you. So, when it's finished, it will unpack iOS or any updates that you've put on there. It will then install the update onto the device too long maybe a couple of minutes and I'll just speed that bit up for you now now it will finish install this onto my iPad for activation check any data that needs to be added device make sure the apps are updating the device name and things like that install and, and then it will customize the device setup assistant to record an Apple configurator and then it will be completed now you just press stop if you devices or you could add devices just by plugging them in start preparing that one from afresh without you having that completes this video and please share series about preparing revision mode